going on guys welcome back to another video we got another mod today we're about to add a gajillion horsepower <laughs> just kidding but no we're going to add a brand new alcantara and performance steering wheel with a dry carbon insert so let's get to it so here are jonathan's again he's going to help me out hopefully we won't run into any issues <laughs> but uh yeah we should be good we've done this all right, so we're going over to Home Depot to get a tool that we don't have that we need. Um, I think it's like an adapter to the impact gun. So we just need to grab that real quick. So it's going to make it super easy to take off the wheel. So here in Jonathan's M4. We got this Tesla that has like some, some different kind of tag. I didn't know they had these kind of available in Florida. It's crazy. Oh shit. <laughs> BMW dealership right there. Home Depot right here. So yeah, first step would be obviously disconnecting the negative terminal to the battery because we're gonna be taking off the airbag and we don't want that to blow up on our face. All right, so to release the airbag, there's gonna be two holes like this on each side of the steering wheel. And as you can see, there's some like random sticky stuff. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't do a good job cleaning there. But um, yeah, we need to go ahead and release that. So we'll use this long flathead screwdriver and reach up in there. And there's gonna be a clip. So we need to reach up in there. Oops, almost got it. See how it's moving? So you just need to do that on both sides and yank it out. We got it loose. Uh, might be helpful to use a smaller screwdriver like this. This is just a T20 screwdriver. And then just get it in the hole, pop the one side, and then go in and pop the other side. And then now we can disconnect our airbag plug. So we do a screwdriver, now we got the airbag. Down. All right, so now we just need to take off this 16 millimeter bolt and then we can just take the wheel off and go inside because I'm sweating out here. <laughs> Easy peasy. Thanks to the impact gun. <laughs> So yeah, we need to just connect this one as well. Good. Now I know we can steal my car. <laughs> <laughs> so here are the wheels side by side. You got the OEM leather. And then you got the Alcantara with the dry carbon. Good lord, that's gonna look so good. With the rest of the dry carbon and Alcantara in my car. Can't wait. All right, so first we're gonna remove this plastic trim piece so there's two t20s right here and then one behind here so let's go ahead and do that all right so we got those screws off i'm just gonna try to get it from the bottom Should probably have a trim tool for this <laughs> oh yeah the reason why this is so hard is because there's little, little like sticky stuff on the wheel holding it in so this part's going to be a little difficult there we go. See, it's not the sticky stuff, it's just like the foam right here that like melts, gets hot over time, and then ends up sticking onto the plastic. There we go. So we got that trim piece removed, and honestly, I'm not sure how, but we're gonna figure it out and uh, <laughs> swap over the, the vibration, because this is where the vibration goes into the new wheel. And that's why with the new wheel, they provide you with this like metal clip. So we'll see what our goes and I'll let you know. All right, so now we want to move some electronics. You're going to want to move this wire right here, this ground wire, and then this ground wire right here. Just hold on by a T20. So I'm not sure why, but it looks like my car has like wiring set up for heated steering wheel even though I don't have the heating package in my car. So we just want to lift this wire up because we need to get this foam piece out 
that holds in everything for the vibration. All right, so you just want to take this ground wire out of there, just yank up on it. Comes off pretty easily, and then we'll take off this ground wire, held on by a T20. So now that ground wire is loose. To get these electronics off, we want to go ahead and take out the T20 that was right there for the paddle. That'll drop the paddle, and then you can turn the wheel around, and there will be another. T20 right there. So we can go ahead and remove both of those. And then we just need to get this wire loose. So it was like shoved in to like some plastic pieces. So got that loose. And then we can go around, get it off here. And now we can do the other side. We got trying to get these cables out for the paddle shifters. So you can see there's like a little clip right here, black clip. You can just use a pick tool take it off like that so it's really just a lot of wiring a lot of patience required as always working on cars <laughs> so this blue cable right here that goes with the power shifters you're just going to want to yank it out it's hard it's tough <laughs> but you got to do it and we got to do it on this side too just grip it any way you can there we go gosh <laughs> freaking plastic and now our pallets are loose. We'll feed those through. We can take off the plastic piece just like that. Bam. Forgot to mention, I picked these up off my friend Chris Marina with the Yaz Marina M4. So I'm gonna have and replace the beefy ones that came stock on it. And I think it's gonna be a way better look. So yeah, in order to disconnect, these parts, just to get it off, you have to push in this little pin that's holding everything in, and you can see it right there. So that little circle, you just push that through, that pin, and then it'll disconnect. So wah wah wah, big fail. <laughs> <laughs> no. So we actually do need the back piece that goes on the back of the paddle shifter and we don't have that so probably shouldn't have even got these probably should have just got some other ones that would have came with a back piece but it's all good we removed all the electrical connections and now we need to remove this vibration mechanism and so it's just held on by that metal clip right there like the one that came in the new steering wheel so we'll just go ahead and use a flathead and pry that off So this clip is being a royal pain. Yes, it is. But we'll get it. I'm trying to remember. Just I did. It'll go like go on one side, but it's really hard to get it over both sides. I did this side first last time. All right, so we got the clip, and how we did it was we put kind of like a screwdriver flathead, and used it to kind of push the clip over the edge. And that seemed to work. All right, so now we want to put in our, our electronic buttons. And so we just need to use our little black screws. And we just line it up with the plastic trim on the back. That's where it's going to screw into. Yeah. So we got the ground wire in, and this one you want to be particularly careful with. I was watching a video of Brian with Keys Motorsports, and he said that he didn't install this correctly one time, and he used his horn, and it actually stayed on. <laughs> so I hate to have that problem. All right, now you want to go ahead and install your paddle back in there, and feed that wire through, and then screw in that T20. All right, so we got this T20 in, and then we got our cables routed under. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put on this, whoops, holy God. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and put on this foam piece back in because it's a uh, super thin wire. 
which one right here this wire is going to run through it and to the vibration mechanism so I'm sure you guys don't want to hear all the expletives that we're slinging out but <laughs> this is just such a pain just to get these stupid ass wires yeah just BMW stuff this is why you buy a manual <laughs> No, deal with less wires. Yeah. All right, so we finagled those wires under this piece and then got this piece slid in. So we're all good. We don't need this connection. We'll just leave it there. And then we got our vibration wire connected. So yeah, now we just need to put the trim on and finally put this wheel on. All right, now we're ready to put in the new wheel. Moment of truth. Only goes on one way. There we go. Now we just plug these plugs back in. Airbag. Now we do the airbag. Hold on, don't do that yet. What? Don't do that yet. What? We gotta bolt your steering wheel on, man. <laughs> God, I can't do this. Yo, yo. <laughs> My man was about to not bolt his steering wheel on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. My mind is gone. I'm dead, guys. So once you get the two plugs back in, now we want to go ahead and throw in this bolt by hand. Normally you want to torque this down to like 62 newton meters, but we're just going to use the impact gun and get on there nice and tight. You want to hold the wheel too while you're at it. Pretty solid to me. All right. And now we can throw an airbag. Just want to make sure this plug goes back in. It's tough, but not so sure. Da. <laughs> 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 this thing looks awesome. And it feels really cool too. Good lord. So we do have one more mod. Uh, we can't forget about adding more horsepower, right? Because that's what we do. We modify our cars. Make them faster. With this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but all jokes aside, we got the red start stop button to match the stripe on the top of the steering wheel and came with some sticky stuff so hoping that this works this method of just sticking this on and yanking it out because that would be clutch and it'd be so much easier i have low hopes that this will work <laughs> you supposed to like yeet it off yeah So I'm just gonna let that like sit on there for a little bit. All right. And now you're supposed to just. Oh my god. <laughs> Yikes! I knew this wasn't gonna work. Gosh darn it! Now I really gotta replace the start stop. <laughs> All right, well, I just said screw it and just put more of the sticky stuff on and yanked it and it actually did come up. So you kind of want to have it like that where you get a, a lot of the sticky stuff on it. But now I'm going to try to peel it up. Oh my God, RIP. <laughs> but I mean, I guess it did work, but now I can't revert back to my black one, so whatever. Let's put this one in. Yeah, I guess that works. Cool. Now it's matching. <laughs> 
So we finally got the steering wheel installed and I'm super stoked. Looks so good with the Alcantara and dry carbon to match the rest of the vehicle trim. So yeah, super stoked, super thankful. Uh, Jonathan was here to help me out. Just huge shout out to him, because if not for him, it probably would have taken me a lot longer. And it still took us like two hours to do, just because we're just messing around. We like, you know, we want to take our time and not mess anything up. So thank you guys for watching this video. Smash that like button. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future mods and detailing and maintenance to come. And I appreciate everyone watching. Peace.